Hi, I'm Dr. Lavinia and I'm going to talk about my research on brain tumor imaging. So the brain, uh, human brain is like a cauliflower. It's all complex and layered like this. Imagine if a part of this cauliflower goes rogue and crazy. It will keep increasing in size and damage all the parts of the vegetable next to it. This is how a cancer behaves. The word cancer means crab-like. This is because cancer, also known as tumor, will make a bunch of vessels around it to suck nutrition from the surrounding tissues. These vessels look like the legs sticking out of this crab. So you see, any cancer is scary. But brain cancers are particularly scary. And if you don't catch these tumors early, they can be disastrous. This is where I come in. I am a neuroradiologist and it's my job to keep looking at people's brains using MRI and I'm one of the first to know if something is wrong with the patient. So for example, this is what a normal brain MRI looks like, but it's easy to say that this part is abnormal. This, this is because the patient has a brain tumor. But a more valuable thing that I can do as a radiologist is to tell the patient and other doctors exactly how bad the tumor is. I call this grading the tumor. Why is it important to grade tumors properly? This is because treatment strategies and the need for surgery is different depending on the grade. Now there are different technologies with which I make different kinds of MRI images and I can study the nature of the tumor and this will help me to grade it. But in the real world this is rather challenging and I will know the actual grade only when someone operates on the patient, removes a bit of the tumor, puts it under a microscope and analyzes it. My aim with this research is to try and tell the right grade of the tumor before the patient undergoes operation so that I can avoid inflicting the pain and stress associated with unnecessary surgeries. So I'm investigating a relatively new technique in MRI called APT. So this is an uh, APT weighted MRI image and you see this color. So based on this color coding and a little bit more probing, I can understand the nature of brain tumors and their aggressiveness in a better way. So in this research, I have given an initial grade of the tumor, firstly by using existing technologies in MRI and the second time by using APT. Then I correlated this with the final grade of the tumor found after surgically removing the tumor and analyzing it. When I did this, I realized that by using APT, I'm able to more confidently and accurately predict the nature of the cancer. This is especially useful when I'm using APT in conjunct with other existing MRI technologies rather than relying solely on either of these. This is how I'm attempting to bridge the gaps in brain tumor imaging. Thank you.